What's up guys? So this is my loadout. It's just kind of what I do right now. Right now it's sort of my loadout's fairly kind of like PMC. I got the black polo, tan pants, tan rig. Got a little bit of multi cam on this pouch right here. But um, it is fairly PMC style. So we'll just go ahead and start off uh, with the gun. This is my ICS PAR Mark III uh, carbon like I believe is this one or is this the CQB? No, this is the carbon. Um, you guys saw the unboxing I did of this. Uh, it's a great gun. I've gotten to use it at a couple of games. I really like it. Um, the range on it is great. The rate of fire is pretty quick. Uh, it's a great gun. I've been really enjoying playing with it. I put a Noveski KX3 on it. Uh, Magpul AFG. Some rail covers. Uh, I have an optic that I sometimes put on it. Um, I don't have it on right now though. Um, so yeah, ICSPAR Mark III. That's my primary. For sidearm, uh, the WE Little Bird. Uh, the hop up was crappy on this. I took it out and I'm getting a new one for it. So we'll see how it is after that. But it's kind of a fun little pistol. It has a full auto function, which I think is completely pointless, but I guess it can be fun to mess around with. And I have it in a Blackhawk holster. It's not a Serpa, it's just like the Sportster, and uh, it's a universal hard case. And um, this fits in it, and it doesn't fall out. Like, I, I shook it upside down like crazy and didn't fall, so I'm pretty confident in my pistol staying in there. Eye protection, Wiley X uh, PT1s. They're great glasses. Um, and they also, you know, they cover a pretty big, they cover a very wide area. Uh, pretty, so, yeah big area that they cover and uh, I like them they're comfortable and um, yeah uh, my hat is a you know standard baseball cap it's in protect typhoon camo I found it at sports authority for like 12 bucks I was like sure so I just use it for airsoft um, gloves are mechanics impact tan um, they're nice gloves they're like they're fairly fair price so like 35 bucks they have really good protection um, but they're still flexible. Some hard knuckles like kind of lose some of the flexibility. These are still, I don't know, they're good gloves. So, yeah. Um, okay, uh, I have a Shimog. I usually wear a green one, can't find it. Put this one on instead. Uh, my rig is a Condor MCR4 chest rig. Uh, I like it a lot. I've had it for like two years, maybe three, I don't even remember. Uh, it's a good rig, it's cheap, it's like 25 bucks, sometimes 20. Um, uh, it doesn't come with pouches, but you know, so basically this, this is a 6 M4 mag pouch. This was like 20 bucks. This pouch came with my old plate carrier. I sold the plate carrier, but I kept the pouches for it. Um, let's see. So yeah, total cost of this rig, I mean, um, like for the mag pouches in the best, it's like 40 bucks. Uh, but if you count the admin pouch, I guess you'd say like 45 or 50, I guess. But it's a really nice rig. I like it a lot. I also got some patches on here in the bike patch. Uh, backwards American flag patch, or reverse American flag, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I also have like, another pistol mag in this pouch right here. I also have a Thunder Bee in this bag, in my vest. Uh, this is a, actually a tripwire Thunder Bee, so it doesn't have a spoon. When I bought my Thunder Bees, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't even notice it was the tripwire one. I didn't actually say it was, and I just kind of assumed it was a Thunder Bee. It wasn't, so I'm gonna get another core that's the spoon style, so I can actually throw it. I actually do still throw this one. You just have to throw it really hard so it gets to your target before it blows up, because it blows up pretty quickly. Um, on my back, as you can see, I don't just have a chest rig on. I also have a water hydration carrier. Um, I'm turning right on. It's just a, uh, it's just a standard, um, uh, standard camel back. Uh, base layer is, sometimes I wear another shirt under it, depending, but, um, this is a hazard for, um, 
polo, kind of cool polo. I got a, uh, these are good shirts. I think I got this for like 30 bucks or something like that on Amazon. Uh, there's Velcro on both the arms and there's little pockets on the arms too. Um, and so I have an e-bike patch and a doge patch. I have six, or no, five e-bike, uh, BAMF mags, they're like 180 rounds or something like that, and the mid caps, they're pretty good, they feed pretty well, um, I also have this right here, it's a big speed loader, that's 500 rounds, M4 speed loader for 450 rounds, I don't actually carry this because the whole point of mid caps is not to have the jingling BBs, but I use this to load all my mags before the game starts, anyway, um, let's see, uh, so yeah, five of these, so it's a lot of ammo, um, and then, uh, knee pads, actually this probably isn't gonna be in frame, so I'll just show you guys, Condor knee pads, uh, I've had these for, like, four years, they work great, maybe three years, four years, I don't know, either way, Solid knee pads, they're only like 20 bucks for a set, and uh, yeah, good knee pads. Um, the pants are, I don't even remember. Um, all, yeah, I don't remember which, what brand my pants are. They, they're basically like exactly the same as a 511 um, tactical cargo pant. I'll put the name of them in the description. I'll put probably like links to my gear, or at least just the names of the gear. I'm probably too lazy to actually put all the links in. But I'll put names and stuff. Um, boots. Um, they're response gear, black side zip boots. Uh, I got them at Big Five. They're a good price. They're like 35 bucks on sale. Oh, one more thing. I have a dump pouch back here. It's just a rollout one. Yeah, they can hold like five mags or so, something around that. So yeah, dump pouch. Um, and um, also that's not my only primary gun. You can see my gun mount kind of in the shop ish. Um, I got this. I don't think this was in my airsoft collection video either. Um, this is my G36. Um, it's, it's like a sport line model, like one that would probably cost like a hundred bucks. Took it over to a guy I know that does tech work, and he upgraded like the hop up and made it like lipo ready. So, it's a pretty good gun now. Right now I just have a Magpul, little uh, RVG on it, I think is what they're called. This is my GMP, I'm sure you guys have seen it in some of the videos. Right now it's kind of bare bones because I've been using the PAR, so I took all my attachments off of it. Still got the suppressor, obviously, because I have the extended barrel under there with the R hop and all that. Um, right now this has a motor problem. I need to replace it because the motor keeps seizing up and overheating and stuff like that. So, probably gonna have to do that, but I'm probably gonna be turning this into a DMR and I get it shooting like 500 FPS. I'll uh, get like a high torque motor. Um, probably won't extend the barrel more just because like I don't really want to redo the R hop and stuff. Um, but I'm gonna get like a scope for it and all that. So, yeah, should be cool. Anyway, uh, thanks guys so much for watching this uh, loadout video and I'll try to post to the channel more often. It might not happen. And also, please subscribe to this channel, Channel 7 Airsoft and Channel 7 Gaming. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing to Channel 7 Shenanigans too, it'd be much appreciated. Hopefully gonna upload some stuff to Channel 7 Gaming soon. I just keep recording and it's just, I'm not feeling it right now. So I decided to make this video because I felt like doing an airsoft video more than I did a gaming video right now. But I'm gonna try to get back on that stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.